Hi everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Saturday, February 9th. A good bit of sunshine. We do have a little bit of a breeze going today. It's going to be chilly. We'll have a fast racetrack. Let's take a look at races 5 and 7 here locally and then take a look at the Sam Davis, the uh, prep race down at Tampa Bay today. So three selections start here in race number five. Six and a half furlong claiming race. Phillies and Bears in for 5,000. Not winners at two over the last six months. I'm going to go with number eight, Nelly Mack, being set up by high percentage Carlos Guerrero. Apprentice Wilfredo Garcia draws the mount. He has started to win here after having a little bit of a slow start locally. Now, Nelly Mack came off a six-week layoff last time out of the same company, set the pace, but week and late to finish fourth, got beaten just a length that day. Now, if you go back, back through her uh, form cycle, the last time she won was that second start off what was about a six-week layoff, and we get that same similar scenario here today. Nellie Mack has some speed on her inside. I think Tiz Super has a chance to uh, set the pace from uh, the four post. Now Tiz Super won gate to wire last time out at five furlongs, but going to get a good bit of extra distance here today at six and a half. I think Nellie Mack has a chance to sit that stalking trip from the outside post. And again, that second start back off the layoff. And again, a high percentage guy race five. Let's try the gate horse Nellie Mack. Now race number seven, another claiming race, one mile at one sixteenth. Horses in here front price of twelve thousand five hundred. I like number one, Dirt in Your Face, who comes off a claim by high percentage trader Mike Pino, and will be taking a little bit of a step back in class today. Now has been in for sixteen thousand in each of the last two starts. Last time out ran a good second for sixteen thousand behind the very tough King Koa. And then two starts back for 16,000 was again second and ran behind uh, a very sharp Yorndo Saint that afternoon. Now Mike Pino again, one of the high percentage guys here off the $16,000 claim, decided to sit out the one month jail and comes back at a lesser price of 12,500 dirt in your face. One of those horses that fires almost every time here at Parks. And again on the drop back and class in for a high percentage outfit today, race number seven. Let's try number one dirt in your face. Now the Sam Davis Stakes is the three-year-old prep today. It's down at Tampa Bay, one mile and one sixteenth for the three-year-olds. I think we have a vulnerable favorite. I think next go will be the post-time favorite here as a grade one winner as a two-year-old last year. One at 70 to one. And off of that grade one win, then went into the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and ran a very good second again that day. Finished right behind game winner at a price of 40 to one. And I think off those two efforts might get over bet here. Now this is the second week in February and you have a Kentucky Derby contender. You don't want to have him all cranked up here in the second week of uh, February. So you want to get his uh, legs under him and I think that makes him a vulnerable favorite today. Again, ran two big races at big odds. But again, if he is able to duplicate that, he could be tough. But the horse that interests me in the Sam Davis today is number six, Kentucky Wildcat. He is a son of Tappet and a grandson of Goat Zapper, so you've got terrific breeding. Is out of the Godolphin outfit. Tom Albert Tranny will send this one out with Joe Bravo aboard. He'll be making his fourth career start. A so-so debut up at Saratoga in his first career start, then got Lasix for his second start at Belmont Park. He got bumped around at the start, but nonetheless ran on very well to finish third that day. And then in his last race as a two-year-old last year, broke the maiden up at Aqueduct in a one-turn mile, coming from off the pace and putting up a good number in the process. Again, with his outfit, with his breeding, he has every opportunity to continue to improve. And there's a good bit of early speed in here today for him to run at. I like the 9-2 to two morning line price, so let's take a little bit of go here in the Sam Davis and try number six, Kentucky Wildcat. Good luck.